Okay, my name is Natalia Manola, for those of you who don't know me. I'm from University of Athens, Department of Informatics. I'm the project manager of OpenAir. And I was supposed to give this presentation with Paolo Mangi from CNRST, who was not able to attend. Um, so what I'm going to do, present open air. We've heard a lot about policies. We've heard a lot about uh, behaviors. We've, had, we've heard a lot about open science. Open air is a, is a data infrastructure, is a research infrastructure who is trying to, uh, to uh, implement and develop uh, many of the things that have been talked about today. Uh, just to give you a brief overview of those who, who, who don't know, open air is a policy driven project. Uh, it's a horizontal infrastructure, so it's not discipline specific. It's trying to uh, cover many disciplines. Uh, the first phase started in 2009 and ended last uh, December. Uh, it was uh, a project to implement the FP7 pilot and the ERC guidelines, as we all know them. And now we're in the Open Air Plus. The first year has already gone. Uh, what we're doing is supporting open access in all Europe. That means going beyond the FP7. Uh, to include all European funders, uh, and we provide links to data. Uh, what we have seen so far uh, for the three and a half years of operation of Open Air is that it's becoming a point of reference for open access in Europe. And then as we have worked in this, we have realized that Open Air has the potential to be, to be the European scientific uh, information infrastructure, meaning that we can uh, link everything together, all, all, all things related to scholarly communication and research. Um, open air, we've heard about models today, about Menoanet saying that there were some, um, uh, uh, some results that uh, how having a, uh, uh, a central model or in uh, Spain and in, um, in Portugal, oops, sorry, and I still can see. <laughs> and uh, uh, that they were different uh, kind of models. What Open Air does, it's a European infrastructure and we rely on this participatory distributed design, which means that we are building on existing efforts, uh, either them be a, a, a central repository in a country or a system of repositories or individual repositories or thematic repositories. This participatory design for Open Air has two uh, two branches, the, the human and the technical. I'll just go very, very briefly over the human because this, this, this um, uh, presentation was about the services that we provide and, uh, and, there are, and the internal architecture. So, so what, as we all know, is that the research is a global effort, but researchers act locally. So what we need to do uh, to, 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 um, to support this open access pilot and beyond is that we need to act at the local level. So what we have done uh, is in open air is that we have uh, 32 national open access desks, and some of you are here, many of you are here, uh, which deal with the diverse national uh, research environments, um, mainly in the publication domain. Now we're moving into the data domain and how these institutional uh, repositories can move into this. Uh, we have uh, open access advocacy through targeted activities, many webinars, many, um, a, ma a lot of presence in, in European fora. So what is actually this human uh, infrastructure, which is a very, very important part of open air, is a network of people disseminating, advocating, uh, implementing, and monitoring. The technical infrastructure, which I'm going to go um, uh, uh, over the next slide, uh, is, uh, is an infrastructure uh, that is building on existing, uh, on existing efforts. Existing efforts meaning repositories, uh, publication repositories, thematic repositories, other registries, open access journals, funders, whatever you can name it that is linked to, uh, the, research, to the research world. Uh, we have a system operational since 2010 uh, we are proud to say that we have uns un, uh, zero num uh, unscheduled downtimes, and we are involved in um, collaboration with many providers. So just let me go briefly over the architectural and data management. This is a very, very high level work. 
Uh, open Air and Open Air Plus is there to support a new publication. And what is the new publication? The publication, uh, Alithia calls it enhanced, uh, other calls it, call it enriched. The publication, as we know, has changed. Uh, what we call it is information in context because there is a research question somebody needs to, to get some results and output uh, related to a research question. And there are many things related to it. So, so I don't have a point, oh, I do have a pointer. Uh, so, so the publication is the traditional one, and then you have many things hanging around it, like provenance, uh, uh, license, uh, any kind of metadata that, that, that define the publication and its quality. These are linked to the research data, uh, which again have uh, many branches. Uh, this could be linked to software, this could be linked to any, any kind of object, digital object that is related to publication. And one of the main interests in open air is that it's linked to funding because researchers get funds uh, by, by, uh, by funding an organization and somehow this whole process needs to be um, evaluated. So the open air data model. Uh, we've gone uh, from, from the driver projects where we had a DC um, flat model. We've gone to a CRIS compli serif compliant model which have, we have many entities in there. So we have research results and licenses uh, related to publications, research data. We are looking to expand in the future maybe to learning objects, to patents, to software, we'll see. Uh, it's uh, about people, it's about research organization, funders, and data sources. And these data sources could be something, could be uh, data sources that will give us uh, 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 the publications or the data, or could be registries that will give us authoritative data about, about related to them. Uh, just to give you a, a very brief uh, overview of what we're doing, uh, these are because, as I said, that Open Air is building on existing efforts, and these are the systems that are out there, and they are people are putting an effort to to, to build them. So we have uh, about. Uh, six and a half million open access publications from uh, validated repositories through our driver projects. Uh, we get from them the metadata plus the usage data. We have the EC funding. Uh, we collaborate with the Commission, the European Commission, to get um, the FP7 uh, programs. We are expanding to national funding, so other funders uh, that uh, want to uh, participate in this, um, in this effort. We have CRIS systems that are in uh, universities or in national CRIS systems who, which give us information about, uh, about, uh, about the research that is uh, being uh, 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 carried out. Uh, we have uh, many, uh, we are allied with many um, registries like uh, research IDs, uh, Open Door or Open Aurora. Uh, and then we, on the other side, we have the data repositories and data journals. Uh, we uh, collaborate with DataSite and uh, now with UDAT. So we are trying to get all this, uh, harvest all this metadata and sometimes the data itself. Uh, and then we have a processes there that we link, classify, deduplicate site. We, we clean the data. One of the things that was uh, mentioned before was quality of the data and open air, uh, in order for open air to be able to provide services that are meaningful to researchers and uh, other users, quality is one, is one of our flags and we try our best to do it. So uh, on top we have many services, uh, mainly from, uh, from depositing into, into um, the orphan repository, which I'm going to talk about uh, uh, in a few uh, minutes, uh, changing names and face. Uh, to, to visualize and manage enhanced publications, how can people link publications and data and funding together, uh, the usual search and browse, and then we are moving to uh, advanced services where people can come and uh, tell us about the metadata to, to improve the quality of, of, of what we have harvested. And of course is statistics. Statistics, since this is a scientific information, towards a scientific information uh, system, Statistics is a very important thing. But this is all you can find in our portal, but one of the main aspects of open air is to provide all this data to third party providers so they can build applications on top. How do we do that? Mikael is going to be um, um, talking 
uh, after me with guidelines. Guidelines are what we try to do guidelines for different data providers is to enforce or to promote standards. How do we work that? Uh, standards. So uh, in the coming few months, uh, many of you know of Driver, so Open Air was the project to, uh, to implement the pilot. In the coming few months, our technical teams are working overtime to try and merge Open Air and Driver together. So at the end, you're gonna have a system which will have mainly open access publications and promote the open access and work for open access from around 400 repositories and open access journals. Uh, we evaluate about 6.6 .6, uh, publications of different types, not only um, uh, articles. Articles are less than a million in this, uh, in, this, um, in this infrastructure. Everything is going to be open access except for the, the cases that we want to monitor the open access, um, uh, op, uh, monitor the open access um, policies where we gather non-open access and we do our statistics. Uh, the persons we've seen from, from these uh, six million publications are around 60 million persons, which needs uh, a lot of cleaning and a lot of deduplication efforts. Uh, we have uh, projects, uh, 26 from FP7, and we are, work, uh, we are working on a pilot with Wel Welcome Trust. And then we will be advocating to get more funders from member states, because as somebody almost said, uh, ten, uh, FP, uh, the European Commission is 10%. Uh, a lot of the research grants come from the member states, so, so we're trying to get the European, the, the European um, landscape. Organizations, we have a lot of organizations from Open Door and Corda. So just to give you a, an overview of the complexity of the system, because we, we were talking about the data management services, this is the collection where we collect the data. Then there is a lot of work here, uh, and uh, as Paulo has, has written that, this is the big data because we are using uh, HBase and Hadoop, which are Google-like, um, um, they're Google um, uh, technologies or Google-like technologies. Uh, we are cleaning, we're linking, we're doing a lot of stuff with them, and then we provide them to the users, the users being end users on our portal or our third um, party providers. Uh, just to give you an idea of the process of the data flow is that we have, um, our repositories, we get the collection. We do a lot, a lot of data inference, and this data inference is offline with algorithms that are institutions, because we have five um, technical technological institutions on, on, on our consortium, uh, that they are being tested and they are returned to into the production with a trust level, so we, 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 we take into account the quality, because we know, as somebody said, that these models and these algorithms change. Uh, we deduplicate because, because we're gathering from too many sources, there, there's a lot of duplication, and the statistics we want to, uh, to provide at the end uh, should be meaningful, and then we provide uh, the information space to the world. Uh, what we're moving, I'm gonna go briefly at the end, is that we're going to be uh, having a service with expert validation that communities will be using open air for their views of what, what they think they have uh, gathered, and we'll give them tools to validate them. So services, uh, three types of end users, researchers, um, data providers, and uh, research administrators. In research administrators, it could be um, institutional researchers, national uh, funders, anything that you can uh, imagine, and we need to break those down more. Uh, for researchers, we have one-stop shop for deposition, uh, and I have to say that Open Air is not a repository. Although we provide uh, the, 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 the repository from CERN, Open Air is not a repository because there is this confusion and some people say the repository. It could be a database, it could be seen, but the actual publications, actual data, relies into the place where the, um, the researchers deposit. Uh, so, but they can come to open air to see where do I deposit, where do I deposit my publication, where do I do the data, how do I link them together. So this is what we are providing to the researchers. And of course we have, um, uh, uh, we, we are now, this list of services will uh, start to grow uh, as we have a more stable infrastructure with alerts and notification, online curation, expert validation and so on. 
uh, for data providers. What do we do? We have, uh, Mikael is going to be talking about it. We have, uh, as, uh, as I said, we have driver, open air merged, which means that there, there will be uh, publications that are not linked to funding. There will be publications that are linked to funding. They, they will, there will be data or publications linked to data and so forth. So, so we have for data providers all the flavors with different levels of compatibility and they can come and, 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 and participate in this infrastructure. What do they get back from us? They can get back and reach information. So all the back end services that we use in our um, big data scalable infrastructure, what we plan to do in the next six months is have, it, have all these services as web interfaces, as uh, with uh, web services, or maybe through the portal, so they can come and check them. Uh, 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 data providers can come and check them, and then maybe use them. So, for example, if we have a service that checks mines and retrieves uh, funding information from a paper, we do it all on the back end, but we'll provide it in the front end. So, so those are the ki kind of services that we want to uh, provide to the data providers except for, of course, for the services like building a community, uh, guidelines, and uh, visibility. Research managers, what do we do? Uh, so we provide statistics. Since OpenAir plans to gather all this information, one of the research managers now that we work with is the European Commission. This is, these are the people who fund us, and these are the people who want to get results and see one of the major and primary um, questions that they have is, how is the open access pilot going? So we are able to provide some results for them. And now we are going, uh, we're moving beyond that. Uh, what we do is uh, uh, statistics on projects, scientific areas, countries, institutions. So if we have all this information of the model, everything linked together, we can say how many um, publications where uh, came from this institution, which areas did they produce in. Uh, so I'll show you some pictures later of advanced tools for science trends. So just uh, now a few uh, shots of open air in practice. This will be our new phase in the coming months. So it's a, it's a, it's a preview, uh, a publication view. What you have here, it's not only publication. Uh, you have different kinds of um, content classification. This content classification comes from repository or it can come from what we do on the back end for, for, for content classification and clustering. We're using supervised and unsupervised algorithms, so, so those will be there, and somehow visually we'll say, uh, we'll show which were uh, by the researchers, put in by the researchers, and which were uh, um, uh, uh, inferred. Then tagging uh, several, several, um, several um, uh, IDs, because what we do, what we do is deduplicate, and one, one uh, publication can have uh, uh, many IDs, uh, where you can find it, which repositories, funded by which projects, and then all this related data, uh, related publication and metrics, we're working on them. Uh, we hope that they will be gradually appearing as we go along in the next few months. What you see here for a publication view, you will be able to see it for uh, a data object view, for an offer, for, for, for all these main entities that we have in open air, we're planning to release them gradually, one by one. Uh, what we have done and what we're doing, at least the technical infrastructure is ready to work on this, is we've gone beyond FP7 and uh, the European Commission. We have gone uh, with Wellcome Trust, we have had all their um, grants, and we have identified publications. And now you can search in, in the portal, in the test portal that we have, you can search for FP7 or for, for Wellcome Trust. So you see this is a kind of emerge from driver and open air. Uh, so you have uh, 1.2 million publications out of the 6.6. Uh, uh, this many FP7 and this many Wellcome Trust. When you come to deposit a publication or data to us, you will be able to choose which funders which they were, uh, they were funded by, by. You will be able, I'm, I'm, I'm going fast because I, my time is running out. Uh, you will be able to support, to, 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 to identify data sources based on the type, based on the country, and to see some very basic statistics. 
Uh, what we are doing is we're allowing researchers to work with other services. So when they come to, to link a publication for now to a funding and later to data, they're able to, um, to identify these publications through, uh, through, through the open access search, through DOIs from Crossref, through DOIs from DataCite, or from ORCID. So for example, this is, uh, this is my, when I click on ORCID, this is my, um, my, my, my list of papers. I can select and I can very easily add it to the, to the users, to the, to the funding. Uh, ORPHAN. The ORPHAN is changing face and name. It's going to be uh, uh, a repository kind of like FigShare, uh, but it's going to be supported by CERN, uh, sustainable and supported by CERN, curated as much as possible, and we'll provide links. So when somebody deposits some, a publication into uh, Zenodo, and this is the name, uh, uh, that they will be able to link to projects and to link to data. So, so it will have the functionality that Open Air has. It will be also in Zenodo. Uh, some statistics, uh, but this is what we calculated for FP7, monitoring scientific outcome because from the repositories, you know the identification of uh, grants was not uh, there yet, so we had to go and do uh, some extra work. Uh, those are graphs that are shown in the private space to monitoring open access policies, FP7 and SC39. Uh, those are what we plan to do in the next uh, two or three months, is that since we have all this, uh, all this data, we're going to have aggregated visual statistics with various indicators. So indicators, as we go along, this will be, uh, uh, we hope to have a, a lengthy list of indicators. And then we have statistics based, based on advanced classification. So, so, so this, is, this is now on the back end what we need. We have the archive classification. We work with other classifications and we're going to merge them together. So when you have a paper or you have a publication or uh, maybe uh, a data uh, from, uh, from a data journal or a data repository like Driad. So, so you can identify uh, in a bulk mode where does this belong, which scientific area. And this is a very useful tool, both for data providers, so we can, do, we can run it on one repository. So this is the archive distribution. We can run it on a funder. This is the ARC distribution we have. We can run it on, on a department, like this is at the Department of um, Informatics in Athens, the thesis, and this is for a person. Uh, so all these are services that we'll be able to, to provide on the portal, but we'll provide on, uh, on, on, um, on, on, uh, with different uh, levels of agreements. Usage statistics. This is one area we started in open air, and we hope, but it's not in open air plus, but we're continuing. Uh, we work with um, Pyrus, uh, Surf Assure, uh, Open Access Statistic, and, um, and Knowledge Exchange. Uh, and we have uh, uh, usage statistics on a pilot base. We have Open Air has, we have implemented the services so that we can show them in the portal. But the, the, the data is not enough to produce meaningful statistics. And this is an area that we would like to work on. So we can have user statistics for a publication, for a repository, and then because we have the knowledge, we can aggregate for projects, research institutions, national infras. So, so what is the usage statistics of Greece, let's say, of the publications um, that, are, that come from Greece? And we work also with Mendeley, with PLOS, and this is, these are the kinds of statistics that we get from them. And last, I'm finishing. <laughs> Okay, is, uh, uh, we, have, we have a new service that we assess community impact. We work with EGI. Uh, for those of you who don't know EGI, it's the European Gra uh, Grid Initiative. Yes. Uh, it's, a, it's a big community before the cloud or they're changing to cloud or I'm not sure what the model is now. But they've asked us to say, okay, let's see what is the impact of the work that we're doing or would have done. Uh, this is what they gave us, and uh, what Open Air will do is collect all their publications, produce the, 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 the statistics that they want, and we can give it to them. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll mine, identify EGI references to publications, we'll uh, provide services when a researcher comes into the portal, they will be able to link a publication not only to a funder, but also to a community. Uh, then uh, we'll, uh, the EGI curators, this is what I was telling before, is that we're going to have content 
uh, a service uh, so that uh, communities can curate their own content. Uh, they validate all the links. Uh, we'll calculate statistics and we'll, we'll show them the results. They can do them in, uh, in their portal. So, but this is a pilot case and this is very good for us to, to do because we need to change some of the underlying technologies. Uh, beyond EGI, uh, we have been um, asked by EMI, uh, which is the European Middleware Initiative, and they have uh, software that they produce. Uh, and we will be moving uh, as this is a service to the national infrastructures, and this may be of interest to you.